NPCs have a superpower. Why? I'm going to tell you in a second. You have multiple superpowers if you are an NPC. And I'm sorry I'm using the slur NPC for you, but you are. I'm sorry. You're sitting in your basement, and this is probably the first good video you've ever watched. First self-improvement video you've ever watched. And I want to congratulate you for this, because this is your first superpower, which is humility. You've been kicked in your ass enough now. You've had it. So you finally decide to watch this misogynistic caveman uh, content, this fucking screaming guy in the forest, the guy who screams at his camera in the woods. You're Now you're finally taking action, and now you're finally, finally miserable enough to watch self-improvement videos. Because earlier, you used to be arrogant, you used to be seeing my videos, you used to be seeing any self-improvement content and you used to be too arrogant to improve yourself. And this is, the weak, this is the weakness of most people. This is why most people are raised like most people are. Be grateful you are miserable enough. Be grateful for the bad enough position in life that you are in to be humble enough to watch something where the guy instantly um, insults you as an NPC. Be grateful for this because this is your first superpower humility think about me you think i'm gonna be much humble you think i'm gonna sit there and really say out of my heart yeah this may this guy is maybe better than me on the street he might be walking across the street and i might think oh yeah maybe he's better than me maybe i need to accept that he's better than me of course not you see through two years of self-improvement of hard work of meditating hour an hour a day I have built up an ego through weightlifting, through looking like a fucking gladiator, through looking aesthetic as fuck. I have built up an ego and of course I have. So I need to do things that humble me. Meditation, journaling, hard workouts, American football, being put in a roster, whatever. Things that humble me. I have to do for hours a day to achieve not even the level of humility you are at right now. So you have an advantage over me. You learn faster than me because you are way more humble like me uh, than me. This is your first superpower. Your second superpower is through years of gaming, you have learned so much. And I don't think that gaming helps learning if you are conscious and want it to make you learn, but subconsciously it makes you learn. Think about Call of Duty. Call of Duty is the perfect example. If you want a new camel, the gold camel for the FAMAS, what do you need to do? You need to do 100 headshots, 50 drop shots, 10 kills after reloading, 15 kills while sliding, whatever. So you need to grind and you need to learn how to do this. So you're going to go on YouTube, watch tutorials and all of this. You know how to learn way better than the guy who right now is better than you. Not only because you're more humble than him and because you're not as arrogant as him, but also because you have learned thousands of times how to do something. Literal gamers, real gamers. I know this. I've been a gamer. Real gamers know how to level up. They know that to level up, it takes practice, it takes skill. You need to maybe defeat a boss or maybe do a special amount of kills within a special position or with a special gun or with special equipment or whatever. So you need to, to learn how to do things. You need to learn how to do a drop shot. You need to learn how to do a jump shot, whatever. How to do a dolphin dive kill or... Or, or a melee kill, how to do them the best, how to shoot for the head better, whatever. And you'll know that to learn, you must learn from someone who's better than you. And this seems pretty stupid, but people who never actually leveled up, they don't know how to do this. And you are at an advantage here. This is the first advantage you gained from video games. If you were a hardcore gamer, you learned this, you knew how to, how to find out how to slay the dragon. You went on YouTube, and you up and you loaded up a video of some guy who's been playing the game for 10,000 hours and then he tells you how to slay the dragon he tells you how to do more headshots whatever and second of all 
you learn how to analyze your failure. In Call of Duty, after you get killed, there is a kill cam and it shows you what your opponent did better than you to be able to kill you and what you missed. Maybe you didn't, maybe you didn't fucking um, check your corners like Captain Price used to say. <laughs> I still remember that, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. And maybe you used the wrong gun or the wrong sight or whatever, or maybe you camped like a little bitch. <laughs> I insulted you over the Xbox live stream, man. That was me. That was me. I was that cocky motherfucker. I was that guy on the on the Xbox Live, um, on the Xbox Live channel, <laughs> who used to always insult you. When you killed me, you were sure to hear something like "basement camper," whatever. <laughs> Don't use that site. It's fucking cheating, or whatever, or you hacker, or or something like that. And you also this, which is my next point. You also learn how to trash talk. You also learn how to talk with an ego, which most people can't. It sounds stupid, but most people, they cannot talk with an ego. And I see this in my, in my, in my football team always. The guys who used to play video games, they know how to insult someone. They know how to trash talk. And they most of the time also know how to back up their talk. They know uh, that they should trash talk in this way to be able to back it up. And trash talking is an important skill. It's, a, it's an important skill. It sounds stupid, but it's an important skill to have an ego because an ego helps you to reach a position. And if you develop an ego for the right thing and not for your, for your achievements, don't develop an ego for your achievements, but for growth, which I'm currently trying to do, right? I'm trying to achieve not no ego, but an ego for growth. I want to develop an ego for being the fastest growing, not for having this achievement in the past. I don't have an ego for running a marathon or being able to bench X amount or for, for X reps. I have an ego for how fast I can progress on how much progress I can make in less time than you. So develop an ego, very important. And you also got an ego for making progress, I realize right now. Because what do you what do you see on on Call of Duty? You see your KD going up if you make more kills, aka if you had more progress. So you get an ego for having more kills than other people, which is a thing you need to work for, aka growth. Kills, so more kills in a video game means more growth. It means more XP, more clan XP, whatever. And by having more kills, you contributed more to your team's win. And if you have an ego for making your team win or for getting a better KD, so more progress, that's good then. And it makes me sad. It makes me fucking sad. There are video gamers with so much potential. I walk around the streets and I see people smoking vape, playing video games on their phones. And I'm thinking, you have so much potential. You have discipline. You can't play a video game if you fucking hate it. You can't play a video game if you know you're going to hate every single second of it. You can't. You have the capability to focus. You can sit for three, four, five, six, seven hours in front of a screen without liking any second of it. Just to make progress on your goal, which might be stupid. Yeah, sure. It might be just a camo in a game, which doesn't matter really in your life. But you learned how to make progress. You learned how to be disciplined. You can be disciplined. You have that capacity. So why don't you use it for something that matters? And I think because you are at the bottom, because you are not arrogant enough to skip past my videos... I will now give you something to work towards. Something that deserves the amount of discipline and the amount of courage and everything you've built up through video games. You've learned much, but you haven't realized it up until this point. And I hope that you're gonna click on one of these videos, not only to give me a click, but also to give yourself, your future self, the, sh the chance to put your potential that you have 
into practice. Master your mind. And have a nice fucking day.